You may have seen this video, where a Navy pilot named Commander David Fravor engaged with a UFO along with Commander Chad Underwood in 2004. Or this one, called the 2019 UFO Swarm. Took off. Okay. Ten Navy warships off the coast of San Diego recorded this in 2019. Both of these videos have not only gone viral, they have been recognized by the Pentagon as military-filmed UFO events. I spoke with investigative filmmaker Jeremy Corbell about the recent disclosure by the federal government. Definitively, UFOs are real. You have been told by your own government, as well as other governments on this earth, that there are craft that are technologically advanced far beyond what we have in our military arsenal. So whether you believe in UFOs... I know there are alien craft here from another planet. I was inside one. Or not. I just don't think we have very good evidence that we are being visited by aliens or here on Earth. Humans have been curious for a very long time with evidence like this. My name's Bob Lazar. I'm known for working at a classified base and reverse engineered alien spacecraft. And articles from the New York Times that included what is called the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. Well, what are UFOs doing when they're here? You know, they've been observed for thousands of years, really, if you go back into recorded history. So, so what are they doing here? Why so many? Some people think that UFOs are prepping the battlefield, that in some way they're preparing for something here on Earth. Corbell has worked closely with Las Vegas journalist George Knapp over the years. Knapp has investigated UFOs and extraterrestrial phenomenon for 30 years. They both recognize San Diego as a hotspot for UFO sightings. According to Knapp, we're the fourth in the country for UFO sightings. Los Angeles is ranked number one. Historically, in our country and around the world, UFOs, whatever they are, wherever they're from, have focused largely on military assets, ships, bases, nuclear facilities, nuclear weapons, things of that sort, as if they are monitoring our uh, our progress. Knapp says one reason why there are more UFO sightings off the coast of San Diego is because there are so many sensors here. The Navy, for example, has one of the most advanced sensors and radar platforms in the world, and they're always watching the sky to see if there's any possible threats. The program that I made public, it's something called OSAP. It's the largest UFO program in the history of the U.S. government, so far as we know. Largest in terms of the number of employees. They had 50 full-time employees, making it much bigger than Project Blue Book, much bigger than a program known as ATIP. The U.S. military, the Pentagon, has reluctantly told the American public, these things are flying around, here's video, we don't know what they are. That sounds like a UFO to me. But with everything, there's always two sides to every story. Mick West is a former video game programmer and is a YouTuber. So I think the redness is mostly just uh, kind of an artifact of the, the camera. He's made a career out of debunking videos like the Tic Tac or Swarm videos. All the things that are supposedly good evidence of alien visitors, these UFO videos, UFO photos, they're invariably very, very poor quality. And you really can't tell anything from just looking at these videos. He says modern technology has allowed people to manipulate so much that it's impossible to tell if something is real or not. If aliens were visiting us to the extent that people have been describing, I think we would have much better footage by now and we would have a lot more of it. West also responds to the Pentagon, which released a statement in June last year explaining that there were more than 100 instances of unidentified flying aircraft, saying these aircrafts could be anything birds, a plastic bag, or anything else. We are so far past this deception this, that is being put forward by these debunkers that they're irrelevant at this point. So could it be that we're really not alone? And the fact is, until they tell us why they're here, we're only going to keep guessing. We may never know. Regina on CBS 8.